take some time now to talk about breast cancer treatments. If you have questions, you can send them to the doctors at WLBT.com. And joining us now is Dr. Richard Friedman. He's a radiation oncologist at Baptist Health Systems. Thank you so much for joining us. It's great to be here. Thank uh, you. And you, do, you specifically do radiation on breast cancer patients, right? Yes, I do. And what, what is the whole purpose of radiation, if, if, especially if a woman's undergone chemotherapy? Right. Uh, the reason that radiation is given is to decrease the chances of cancer coming back uh, in, in the breast, in the area around the breast. So, and, and that's, it's basically to kill the cell, the cancer cells I can't see? Right, or right. Or bad cells? Yes, sometimes there are, there are cancer cells left behind that can't be seen, they can't be removed surgically, and so radiation sterilizes or, or destroys those cells in, in the breast tissue. Is there anything new that you're using now when it comes to radiation that you weren't using 10 or 15, even 20 years ago? Yeah, I, I think generally the, the equipment that's used today is much better than 10 or 15 years ago. The side effects are, are minimal compared to what they used to be. Uh, there are different techniques that are used uh, really throughout the country, um, but basically it's the same type of radiotherapy that's been given for years. It's, it's just the way it's delivered is, is much more efficient. Well, everybody knows chemo is no picnic, but radiation isn't a picnic either, is it? Well, it, it really depends on the situation. Uh, in some circumstances, we're treating a very small area. In other cases, we're treating a larger area. The larger area that you, the larger the area is that you treat, the more chance of side effects that you have. But with, with better machines and, and better equipment and better imaging, um, we can treat smaller areas and we can treat them more efficiently. Uh, and side effects are kept to a minimum. That's one of our goals. What are the side effects? Well, side effects of radiotherapy can be uh, swelling of the breast. Uh, there can be redness or uh, erythema. Um, there can also be um, uh, soreness. Uh, the last thing would be irritation of the lung tissue underneath the chest or breast tissue. That's called pneumonitis. That happens very, very rarely. Well, if you've got side effects, people want to know, is there something that you can give me to minimize? Or if I should have these side effects, can you give me something to help me? Yeah, well, that's one of the, that's one of the basic uh, uh, improvements that have come along with all cancer therapy, chemotherapy, radiation therapy, especially compared to 10 or 15 years ago. Uh, side effects are, are minimized through, uh, through early diagnosis of the side effects, and we can manage them. We can also prevent them through medications and so forth. So yes, if someone does have side effects, we can, we can treat them effectively. Dr. Friedman, does um, every woman with breast cancer need radiation? Not, not at all. Um, whether someone receives radiation or not depends upon the size of the tumor, the location of the tumor, and how it's treated surgically. Uh, for example, if the entire breast is removed and the tumor is very small and there is no disease in lymph nodes, then someone may not need chemotherapy. They may not need radiation therapy at all. Uh, radiation uh, predominantly is, is used uh, in treating advanced cancer, but early cancer where uh, the breast is preserved, breast preserving surgery, uh, where uh, a small portion of the breast is removed, and in that case radiation is added on to get the same uh, desired effects as if the breasts were removed entirely. And when you're using radiation, I suppose this is when your expertise really comes into play as well as your eyes, because you've got to target that spot, you know, like a bullseye. Right. Well, well, there's two things that we do. The first thing is we target the tissue at risk, and that usually is the entire breast uh, and possibly the lymph node drainage field for that breast. And then the second part of the, th the therapy would be to target in exactly where uh, the surgery was performed or where the lump was. And yes, uh, we use uh, imaging. Uh, we can see where the, the surgeon removed the tumor and so forth. So, it, it Well, the women who choose not to have the entire breast removed right. um, and, and do the radiation therapy, are their outcomes as good as those who remove the breast completely? A absolutely. It's, it's almost an, an, an urban myth that you need to have your breast removed. The results of uh, uh, mastectomy versus a lumpectomy and radiation are exactly identical. And this has been borne out in studies in, in, in the United States and across the world for the last 40 years. The statistics are the same. If one was better than the other, then we couldn't offer someone the second best therapy. We'd always have to do one thing. But this is one example 
where uh, both approaches have identical outcomes over time, and that's that's really good because women can make make her choice. And that is a good thing, you know, because but a lot of women do choose to to do that. They're really particular about the breast. I mean, they don't want to remove them. Right. And then others want all of them removed. Right. And I guess I guess the take home point is doing the mastectomy, removing the whole breast does not improve your chances of being cancer free or of living longer. It just is not not true. All right. Dr. Richard Friedman with Baptist he's a Baptist radiation oncologist. We right. appreciate your information. It's my pleasure. All right. Thanks so much. And for more health news you can log on to our website, WLBT.com and click on Medical Matters.